I'm an associate professor of pediatrics at University of British Columbia. Uh, my primary area of research is in nutrition. Some students really desire to be exceptional masters or PhD students. So from your experience, you know, how would you describe an exceptional uh, a masters or PhD student? Um, well, um, students come in many, many different forms. Uh, so there is no, there is no one magic formula which will work for every student. Uh, but I would say, I think the, the most important thing that I look for, uh, and again, this might vary from different professors to professors, uh, but for me, a successful student is somebody uh, who stays committed uh, okay. to what they said when they first joined the lab, they said, I will do this. Okay. Um, and they stay committed to it because research, as you know, um, has many ups and downs. Uh, so you cannot assume that everything is going to go smoothly because in 99.9% .9 of the case, it never goes smoothly. I would, that's right. Being that's right. committed is very, very important. And taking the initiative uh, based initiative. on the comments yeah. that you receive from your supervisor. Uh, so I would think those two in that order would, would to me, uh, complete a student uh, as an exception. Absolutely. And then the, another quick one is, so as a student coming into a grad program, uh, freshly from, you know, maybe in the first semester, so what kind of orientation will you probably give? I know you've mentioned a little bit about that, but just considering that first semester, maybe will you tell the student to focus on just reading and understanding the project or, you know, learning some of the skills in the lab or any other, other things that they should be doing, like especially in their first semester? Yeah, the, the first semester is always uh, uh, the most um, difficult for international students, I would say. Um, it can be a time of extreme change uh, for them in terms of environment, uh, in terms of everything almost. Um, uh, so it, again, this could vary from lab to lab, from university to university, uh, but certainly uh, what I do, I can only comment on what I do, um, uh, it is a time when I, when I expect the students to be paying attention to the courses that they have signed That's up to okay. do, um, because the first semester is probably the best time to get most of the courses out of the way. Uh, make sure you have a full course load in that semester uh, while you're focusing on the, on the courses, uh, which are mandatory in most masters and PhDs. Make sure you are doing well in the courses and doing all the necessary readings about your own thesis topic. Um, okay. And, and in, in my lab, it's certainly uh, the most important time to be observing uh, laboratory experiments being okay. conducted by other people, because that's the only time you will be able to just observe and not, no one's gonna demand anything of you, but make sure you're present in the lab and you're observing what everyone is doing and taking notes. Um, that will then allow you to design your own experiments when it's time after the first semester. Okay, and the very last question for the day. So uh, in terms of timing, you know, so just from your own perspective of your own style of supervision, so do you expect like students to be in the lab at a certain time, close at a certain time, or they can kind of work at their own pace? Well, again, uh, this can be highly variable depending okay. on the research yeah. lab that you end up in. So I would say as a general comment, assess the situation based on okay. the lab that you're going in okay. um, and have that as your number one question to your supervisor. Okay. What is the kind of uh, work uh, ethic that they expect? Um, and, and I think it can vary lab to lab. Uh, okay. In our lab, for example, uh, it is a, um, a being available 24-7. However, mm -hmm. you are not expected to be in the lab 24-7 because it's, there's okay. a big difference. Absolutely. Um, we don't expect our students to be in the lab 24-7, but being available so that you, know, you can okay. adapt. If you have to come at midnight to run something, uh, sure. I think, I think again, as a grad student, we all have done that. Most professors have done that. I can guarantee you, I have done those things in my, in my PhD. <laughs>
Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you so much for taking that time. I know you're such a busy person, but you really answered a lot of questions today. And I really believe it's going to be helpful to many, many graduate students. So thank you so much for your time. I'm really very grateful. Thank you so much. You're welcome, Peter. Okay.